And now we'll take a walk from the Feria up across uh, Irrigation Ditch. And they have a trail going up to a little park. That's the bridge. They're not quite as big on engineering sometimes as they are in the States. It's sturdy enough, Safe. you just have to watch where you walk. From here there's a, a nice little trail going up to a, a park that they just put in, which overlooks the city and the ocean. Okay, this is a little park alongside the road. And this is one of the famous Easter Island men, a statue that was brought here many, many decades, decades ago from Easter Island, which is owned by Chile. Apparently, for quite a long time, they had it in a, another park nearby, but the military took it over and it became uh, a sensitive area, so the public was not allowed in to view this statue. So after quite a bit of public protest, they eventually developed this park and they placed the statue in the middle of it, so it has a place of honor alongside the road. Now this down in this little ravine is some kind of a private park. We've not been able to find who owns it, but they have a sign saying keep out, so we'll abide by that. And of course the ever-present soccer court. And then where the rows of vehicles are, where the rows of vehicles are, uh, and you might be able to see a few tents over there. That is the, the feria, the street market that we've just walked through. It extends for quite a way. Okay, so here we are driving down the street they call the Alameda toward the lighthouse dead ahead called El Faro, which simply means lighthouse, real original. The light does work in the top of it, but the rest of the building I don't believe is used for anything at this time. We'll turn the corner and now we're on what is called the Avenida del Mar, which means the Avenue of the Sea, <laughs> appropriately enough. This structure to the right here, I've not been able to find out from anybody what it was supposed to be. It looks like they put a lot of work into it, but it's it just has a bunch of grassy sand inside. And here, of course, we have the ocean. And the land in the distance is the point of the city of Coquimbo. So it looks like there's a fair amount of wave action today. This is not the recommended beach for swimming, by the way. Unfortunately, the river empties a little bit farther down the beach and the currents carry the water through here. I'm afraid to say that uh, there's an awful lot of pollution so it's uh, hygienically not a good idea to, to swim here. Apparently it's easy to get uh, all kinds of diseases from swimming in the polluted water. Uh, we often bicycle along the beach here in the mornings. It's really beautiful and peaceful. Believe it or not, even in this cool weather, somebody is sunbathing. You can tell it's not uh, the height of the summer season because in January and February, everybody is at the beach. It's terribly crowded. And there's the lighthouse again. We'll swing back and give you a view toward the city and toward the hill where the Saratololo compound is. And in the far distance are the Andes. I believe it's a little too hazy today to make out very much clearly. But we'll zoom in and this is the hill. <laughs> 